Hello, this is a note from Star Path with a demonstration of uh, displaying and uh, putting in an offset for the new uh, USB, inexpensive, accurate USB barometer from the Canadian company uh, Drakel, Cal. And uh, we have an article about that, and that's listed in the uh, description. So here we have that uh, that USB barometer is plugged into a cable, and then it's plugged into the laptop. And um, let's see. So what do we? Uh, okay, I'll start with here. Let's go to the um, the uh, connections. And uh, I've established that these signals are coming in on COM8. And um, then we have set up to accept. You have to go in here and push this. I have, by the way, a couple articles. I can link those too. I have a couple articles on uh, using OpenCPN with a barometer, cal uh, inserting a barometer. So I don't need too many details here. But you have to add these two sentences. And that's there. And then you can go further up here and look at uh, the data the data coming in and these are all green these are all accepted messages as they are now and then later uh, and see okay later I uh, then copied this and uh, pasted it into a uh, of this uh, text file here which I'll come back to in a minute okay so that's all working and all going into the barometer okay and then we have uh, shown it in the um, in uh, the uh, dash uh, the dashboard which is uh, this signal here that turns them off that turns it on if you want to see more of these you just right click over here and say preferences and then you can define them here like this uh, barometric pressure okay and then there's one called history I made history okay history I'll show that one as well okay apply so that one's got a history now the reason this is wiggling up and down here is because I've got uh, two different pressures coming in at the moment but normally normally this display is not uh, is not valuable uh, because it doesn't have enough resolution to show what we want see here's seven millibars from here to here we would like that to be at you know like 0.7 millibars so this this display is not useful what is more useful is the one um, called uh, the plots plug-in and uh, that's what we're doing here let's just see that's five minutes 20 minutes is that looking at all okay no um, uh, let me uh, shut this off and start again. Uh, I turn on the plots. Oh, it's remembering the pressure. Uh, so this is going to take a couple minutes to clean up, clean itself up, unless I just actually, let me just shut off everything and see... Um, is that totally off? Let me see if that cleaned it up by any chance. Okay, that's still reading the barometer. Let's see what's going on with the plots. Uh, still loading. Put the plots in. No plots enabled. That's good news. Okay, there. Okay, right click it. Configuration. Go down the barometer. It will only read MDA and this uh, and um, this uh, company in uh, Canada added uh, added has the output of their barometer both MDA and XDR and that's explained in the article and so we're good to go here with the uh, MDA uh, oh, it looks like it has remembered that pressure. But anyway, here's the actual pressure here. I've been playing around with this offset. That's why that's jumping up and down. And that's what I want to show you. But if we look here, here's the pressure 1012.77. I mean, 1012.8. Again, these decimals out here are not significant. Uh, we're looking at a, at a tenth here. 10 12.8 and that's this pressure here and that's over the time this is my horsing around with a 
well, I'm going to do the horsing around right now. It's the setting up the calibration. So we know from that article that this barometer reads um, reads a little bit high. The sensor reads a little bit high. They're all going to come out of the box within sort of one and a half millibars, but we want better than that. And we know we have to adjust this one by about 0.4. I think I've doubled that correction here to illustrate the point. But let's go in here to show you. Again, I have two other videos about this, so I can just step through this with this new barometer. You go to the plugins, and the one we're using is the NEMA converter, and it's enabled. And then you do the preferences. Oh, I lost it, huh? Oh, I did lose that. Uh, okay, so, th well, that's fine. We have to put that back in. So, um, okay, let me just see if that's really true. Enable, preferences. Oh, normally it'll save that. I don't know what happened. It lost it, but normally it does save that. So we're going to say new. And then uh, we want it every second. And so now I have to go back to that piece of paper I had here. Uh, can I get to it? Uh, oh, crying out loud. Okay, cancel. 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 Uh, can I move this? Oh, okay. So here's the piece of paper I want. So here are the sentences coming in. The two sentences coming in XDR and MDA. We're not going to pay attention at all to the XDR. This is what I just copied out of the, uh, the, the setup page here. And so I want, this is the t typical sentence coming in like that. And we're going to just rewrite that and make a new one. And you have to just take a note of what it looks like. This is a sentence, X, uh, Y, X, M, D, A. The first one is 29.9 something. That is the pressure in inches. That I is for inches. So we're going to make a new one where we've got, we're going to take whatever it was before, and that's uh, M, D, A, 1. And that's going to go here. Then it's an I. And then this number here is the pressure up to this comma. And so that we're going to take whatever it was, and we're going to then take away minus zero, zero, and I put a 0 0.8 in there. The actual, the actual change we want to make is 0 0.4. That's, uh, that's what that is. So this is the sentence we want to create. We want to create this one based on the original one here. So I would come back to here. Uh, let's see. Go to the... Uh, Preferences here, say new, and every second, and this one, command V, and there you go. So the pressure that's coming in is then being reduced by 0.4. Remember, this pressure is in bars, be it, you know, one bar. We're dealing with millibars. So that's this is actually a pressure 10, 12.4. And we're taking away 0.4 off of that. And that's the answer, like that. And that's OK. And now we're done. And so this then, um, it takes it. Now you just have to let that stabilize, let this pressure stabilize for a while. But this now is the incoming pressure. Incoming pressure from the sensor is 1013, but the outgoing pressure is 1012, well, actually, whatever that is, that's 12.8, it looks like. 12.6, there, yeah, 0 0.8. 1012.8. And then it's coming out at like 10, 12.4 because we're taking away 0.4. So that all works right. And now what's it read here? It reads 10, 12.4. So there now is taking a, and now again, that seemed like a lot of work, but indeed, you, uh, uh, OpenCPN should remember all these things that we've done. So when you close this down and then open it back up, it should remember that just fine. So you only have to do this once. Uh, it seems a little tedious, but once you do it once and uh, then uh, you don't have to do it again. And then if you need to do it again, like you get a different correction for your barometer, you would just uh, go in there, uh, go into here, 
and then go this highlight this and say edit and then just tweak this number right here you see that's the tenth of a millibar okay cancel yeah okay all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there that's the demo in OpenCPN again we have two other videos on that and I have a bunch of videos on OpenCPN whoops wrong uh, where is this okay here you go stop